Do you really want to meet a Tyrannosaurus Rex? By Annette Bay Pimentel, illustrated by Danielle Fabry. We're actually going to start at the back of the book, and we're going to take a look at the different words that might be found while we read. So the first word is carcass. A carcass is the dead body of an animal. Carnivore is an animal that eats only meat. Cretaceous period is the time between 145.5 million and 65.5 million years ago. Dinosaurs lived during this time. Extinct means no longer found living anywhere in the world, known only from fossils. A fossil is a bone or other trace of an animal from millions of years ago preserved as rock. A hadrosaur is a duck-billed, plant-eating dinosaur. Prey is an animal hunted and killed for food by another animal. Scavenge means to search for and eat dead animals. Okay, so this is a map of where a Tyrannosaurus rex would be found, where the fossils have been found. And because the names of the Canadian provinces and states are not included, we'll run through them. This is Alberta, a province in Canada. This is Saskatchewan. This is Montana. This is Wyoming. This is South Dakota. This is Colorado. This is New Mexico. And this is Texas. Here's our title page. Again, it's by Annette Bay Pimentel, and it's illustrated by Daniel Fabry. Do you really want to meet a Tyrannosaurus Rex? I don't know. Let's try. That Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton is so cool. What? You wish you could see a T-Rex alive? You know a T-Rex could bite through a car, right? And you still really want to meet a living Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, then you'll need a time machine. Go back 67 million years to the Cretaceous period, before dinosaurs went extinct. That's before your great-great-great-great-great-grandparents were born. In fact, it's millions of years before any humans lived. Where should you go? Lots of T-Rex fossils have been discovered along the border of Montana and South Dakota. Head there. You don't need a jacket. But... Pull on rubber boots. It's hot and swampy here in the time of dinosaurs. Is that a T-Rex? No. This dinosaur is munching on leaves. It's a hadrosaur. They have duck bills. T-Rex is a carnivore and only eats meat. Here's a huge footprint that has three toes. That matches the T-Rex bones in the museum. Maybe there are more footprints. Don't look too near for the next footprint. T-Rex could cover about six feet or two meters in one step. So, you'll take about four steps for every T-Rex step. There it is. T-Rex stretches as long as three cars, about 40 feet or 12 meters. And it stands 15 feet or 4.6 meters tall. That's about as tall as three sixth graders on each other's shoulders. Uh-oh. Is the T-Rex looking your way? T-Rex has excellent eyesight, which helps it find its prey. And your snack size. Hold still. Maybe it won't see you. Look at those nostrils. T-Rex can smell even better than it sees. You did take a bath this morning, didn't you?
Phew. It's after the Hadrosaur, not you. T-Rex doesn't grab prey with its arms. It just bites down on whatever it's chasing. Even an alligator bite would feel gentle next to a T-Rex bite. Chomp! The Hadrosaur got away. Looks like T-Rex lost a tooth while trying to bite it. Don't worry, T-Rex still has 57 more big teeth. Each tooth is the size of a banana, and pretty soon a new tooth will grow in. T-Rex has found the carcass of a dead dinosaur. If it can't get live prey, T-Rex scavenges, eating the meat off dead animals it finds. Is it looking at you again? Get back in the time machine, double quick. Seeing a T-Rex up close is cool, but it wouldn't be so cool to be inside one. Here's the author's note. Too bad for us time machines aren't real, but all of the details about the T-Rex in this book are based on research by scientists who study fossils. For example, in 2013, scientists announced they had found a T-Rex tooth deep in the bones of a hadrosaur tail. This clue suggests the T-Rex was a hunter, but that sometimes its prey escaped. New dinosaur discoveries are made every year. Look up the books and websites below to learn more.